McFarlane Toys is finally giving us a, uh, oh, wait a minute. Let's go. Geeks, what's popping? The customizers are gonna go crazy. This is gonna be Wonder Woman everywhere. But for those of us in the know, this is the Squadron Supreme's Power Princess. Zarda, I think her name was. Was it Zarda? I can't remember. Man, I'm getting old. If you're not new to the channel, you know I love the Squadron Supreme. You know I love the Power Princess. And this one's been a long time coming. Let's check her out. Power Princess uses her extraordinary strength and skill to protect Earth alongside the other members of the Squadron Supreme. Pre, pre. In case you don't know, the Squadron Supreme is Marvel's version of the Justice League. They were supposed to be a one-off group of villains from an alternate Earth or alternate universe, I can't remember, to fight the Avengers. And it was basically just a poke from the DC, but they ended up being popular, so they kept bringing them back. And this, of course, is Marvel's version of Wonder Woman. She comes with a sword, an extra set of hands. One is kind of like a waving hand, I guess, and a fist, and of course her shield of righteousness. And I just made that up. Accessories. She comes with her shield of protectiveness, her sword of cuttiness, extra hands. The only thing she's missing is her lasso of verification. Oh, look at that Amazon goodness. Now that we've got her out of the box, let's take a moment to bask in all of her non-Wonder Woman glory. Keith Lee, throwback. All right, in case you're unaware, this is what an action figure looks like. And it kills me that Hasbro can have this absolute gorgeous piece of artwork in the same wave as that trash justice. It just doesn't make any sense. All joking aside, I know she looks like Wonder Woman, but she is a character on her own. And man, is she worth having. She looks so good. I have no complaints about her. Yeah, she could have waist articulation, but we'll skip over that for now. This new sculpting is awesome. Her boots are awesome. The gold pops off. Her muscles, her arm, I mean, everything just looks good. And I'm really excited because this body, knock on wood, Hasbro can use it to do a lot of updates we need. We need a She-Hulk figure in her Avengers 80s outfit. We need a new She-Hulk figure in her Fantastic Four outfit. We need Titania, badly, a comic book version. We need a new Thundra, <laughs> the, the ultimate peg warmer, right there. That's three figures they can pop out with little work. Man, but, ugh, looks just, ugh. Man, ugh, looks good. Man, let's start with that face. Tell me what's wrong with it. Go ahead, I'll wait. You can't. Nothing's wrong with it. The sculpted, not painted corset piece. Mwah. And those boots. Hasbro, you did it. Love it. Look at the details on her wrist gauntlets. Wait, those gauntlets? forearm armor whatever you want to call it but look nice detailed jewels shiny doesn't look like cheap plastic and her belt is sculpted not just painted on we get a nice 360 that gorgeous head there can't get much of a head tilt left because of the hair on the shoulder here can't get a tilt right good range tilting down the hair hinders good range looking up Arms get up, yay high. Arms get up, yay high. The lack of butterfly joints does not prevent great wingspan. Check it out. Huggy, huggy, nice and snuggy. Painless double jointed elbows packing all the power. 360 at the shoulder, strong intermittent clicks. 360 at the bicep, 360 at the wrist. Do we? Nah, nothing at the forearm. Gripping hand has a gun hinge. That open hand has a repulsive blast, kiss the ring hinge. Crunchy! I should say it. I shouldn't say it. I should say it. I shouldn't say it. Wonder Woman way back. 
I said it. Upper torso rocker, let's lean with it. Rock with it. Roll with it all night long. 360, you have intermittent clicks. 360 at the thigh cut. Ooh. 360 at the boot. 360 at the foot with intermittent clicks. Copyright info is flesh toned. Thank you. Rockers. Split. Easy. Push easy. Bend damage is all gravy. The bend, not quite 90 degrees, but good. Kick could be a little bit better. Pinless double joint knees give you good range, especially for a big girl. Toe range down, excellent. Toe range up is that I. Ooh, she comes in at just a hair under six and a half inches. Yes, this is a She-Hulk body. And this is the part where I'm supposed to put her next to all of the other figures from the wave or even some other Squadron Supreme figures. Full transparency, I'm about to build a bath and do that video. So, I'll <laughs> so you'll see, I'll show her with her mates then. I'm also almost done redoing my shelves. I don't feel like getting my Squadron Supreme stuff down. When I do my collection tour next week, you guys will see that. All right, so you already know what I think. Fantastic. Probably one of the best legends of the year. Probably one of the best legends in a long time. And on top of it, she doubles as a Wonder Woman if you want to customize her. Win-win. Where could they have done more? I'm not sure. I don't want to say perfect, but pff, damn good. All right, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you got this one on order. Amazon has her in stock now. If you're skipping her, you better have a damn good reason why and let me know in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share a link with a friend that loves the plastic Marvel Legends like we do. Till next time, geek out.